Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. Okay, so in the last video we got the Relics of the Crusader, which is a decent armor set in my opinion, and we're now going to get all the alternative armor sets, barring the Star Rim Heavy armor, uh, and we'll wait till we're in Solstheim for that one. Uh, that being said, I'll break this video down to two videos, and in this one we'll be getting the Steel Soldier, the Studded Dragon Scale, and the Ebony Plate armors. As usual, detail specs and review of these mods are linked in the description box below if you want to check them out. And we'll start with Steel Soldier. So let's go get it. These are pretty much the cheapest out of all the uh, the CC mods. Yeah. They're all quite decent actually, they're all easy to get, it's only short little quests. Okay. Now you're probably getting why I got the horses right at the beginning. It's going to sound really weird, but I very rarely come down this way in the game. To be honest with you, all these uh, quests for all these kind of mods are fairly generic. Uh, get a letter from the courier, or go to this place and pick up a note, and go and get another note, and then go and fight someone. But what it does do, actually, though, it gives you an opportunity to fry around parts of the map that maybe you won't go to. So... No, I'm not. And here we are, the uh, iconic Dragon's Bridge. It is a very pretty game. Not surprised this game has lasted as long as it has actually. It is really good. It's not the most challenging of games, let's be honest, but uh, there's something about it. Yes? Especially with mods, I guess. Well sort. I can tell just looking at you. Okay. Let me give you some room. Yeah, get some light on the subject. Hard gives a man reason for drinking hard. Well, that and putting up with a wife like mine. You're a well-traveled sort. 
I can tell just looking at you. Conjuration up. This is brilliant. If you get a slaughter fish, and yeah, just keep on casting and casting. It can take a lot of time, but it's um, it's kind of a good exploit-free way to. Uh, Increased conjuration, which is, I find, the hardest uh, skill to actually level up. Don't kill it yet, in they go. This world just got a little cleaner. Oh, damn it. This reminds me I could have dumped some of these notes. Irritatingly, some of these CC notes and quest notes get stuck in your uh, inventory, which is really annoying. Not all of them, but some of them. Okay, let's go get him. Well, well. <laughs> it's easy when you have help. <laughs> so, there you go. We've got the... Steel soldier armor and a quite a decent sword as well. Right, so as I said before, well, one of the, the uh, specs and stuff are in the uh, the all linked to them are in the description wish. box below. Um, 
Actually, let's give uh, Jennifer a better sword. Give her that one we just got. Where is it? Do, 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 do. There you go. There you go, Jennifer. Got yourself a new sword. Okay. Let's right, I think it's time to go and get the um, studded dragon scale armor. Actually, if you're at real low level, this armor's, and you're into light armor, that is, this armor's really good. Okay. What are you doing now? Oh, duh. Helps them go the right way. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm folks. We have to take him aside because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these great don't have it. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, I cocked that up. Just makes perfect.
Yeah, if you've got the Saints and Seducers or Creation Club Saints and Seducers, uh, there's a boss fight up here. Or uh, this level is one you're probably not likely to win. Okay, I've got Inigo and Genesis with me, but even so, it's quite a tough fight. A bit above our pay grade at this moment in time. It's doable. But uh, probably best to avoid it, I think. So, yeah, so probably best to skirt around them for now. But one thing this does do, it gives you a good uh, fast travel spot to come back later on. Okay, here we go. This is the easiest fight you'll have in the game, I think. Okay, let's see what we got. And normally I'll be actually collecting all those swords and uh, stuff for enchanting. But as I'm going to kind of cheat on the uh, alchemy and stuff like that, uh, I won't bother for this. Just for convenience sake for this uh, kind of series. Lovely. Really decent armour for a low level, this. Um, definitely worth uh, getting in my opinion. It's only a dollar, isn't it? 100 credits, so... Uh, oh, overweight. Anyway, so that's it. Let's go and get the plate armour. And luckily it's near Windhelm, so, uh, well, the first part of it is actually in Windhelm. So, let's head on back there. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, then.
be a weapon, my friend. There is killing to be done. <laughs> Job done. So you go, we got the ebony plate helmet, uh ebony plate helmet? <laughs> ebony plate armor. Uh, decent armor if you're in heavy armor. Um you know. I it gives you the opportunity to get ebony armor at a really low level. Um aesthetics wise, I'm not really sure it's any better than the um vanilla stuff, but uh hey yeah, there you go, you can get it. So, there you go guys, we've got the first three sets, um, two heavy and one light, and uh, we get the rest in the next video, so, hope you're enjoying it, catch you next time, and uh, don't forget I love you, later.